Special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tour possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gear 24 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role combat aircraft. It is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions while also providing electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. Lockheed Martin is the prime F-35 contractor with principal partners Northrop Grumman and Base Systems. The aircraft has three main variants, the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, which is the version that we're building in this tutorial, and the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B, and the carrier-based F-35C. The F-35B entered service with the United States Marine Corps in July of 19, er, in July of 2015, followed by the U.S. Air Force F-35A in August of 2016 and the U.S. Navy F-35C in February of 2019. The F-35 was first used in combat in 2018 by a by the Israeli uh, Air Force. In service, some U.S. Air Force pilots have nicknamed the aircraft Panther in lieu of the official uh, Lightning II. Uh, the U.S. plans to buy 2,456 F-35s through 2044, which will represent the bulk of the crewed tactical air power of the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps for several decades. The aircraft is projected to operate until 2070. So yeah, really, uh, in, obviously awesome aircraft, uh, very iconic and everything like that. F-35 really is a tricky build, or aircraft to build with the kind of weird shapes it has. It has a lot of curves, but also a lot of like straight kind of points it comes to. So it's a, it's a very tricky aircraft to kind of get right. And I think that uh, this aircraft came out really good. Um, so that's really exciting with that. And hopefully you guys all enjoy this nice remake for it, which was definitely really needed considering the old one is uh, very outdated. Um, but yeah, this was built one of my live streams, so if you uh, haven't already, I'd recommend trying to stop by and catch my live streams that I do here and there. Uh, we build some vehicles and stuff like that in it and have a pretty good time, and overall they're pretty enjoyable. So, um, you know, it's a fun time. Definitely come by and try to hang out and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, it's a good time. We have uh, fun there and all that. And I do want to give a big thanks to uh, Vin for... Uh, helping on this aircraft he did help do some work on it so uh, big thanks to him and uh, his help when we built this in the stream anyways uh, before we go and take a look at the aircraft I want to go and give a special thanks to patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in uh, supporting the channel where you guys are do feel free to check my patreon page link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing depending on which tier you decide to subscribe to um, it helps me out with the channel basically supports my work here and it's just a uh, you know, cool way to get a vehicle request of your way uh, or vehicle request of your choosing every month as well. So definitely feel free to check that out. Again, links always down in the description. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, F-35 here. See what we got going. Obviously, here we had the in-flight and landed version. So starting off, if we have the in-flight version here, as you can see, it's pretty uh, you know standard. Uh, we this is the A model. So the main real difference here being with a little bit of the landing gear, uh, but uh, compared to the C model, the landing gear only has one front wheel instead of two. And also it has this kind of pod, um, or this kind of bulge that sticks up right here on the left side of the aircraft. And then over here on the right, it's got this uh, little vent, which is kind of standard across all of them. But uh, yeah, kind of interesting there on how that's, um, how that is. Uh, yes, yeah, um, as I mentioned, this is the A variant. So you will have that bulge there. And there's also only one uh, front wheel instead of two. So this is the F-35A, which is used by the Air Force. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we got the engine here, vertical stabilizers, uh, horizontal stabilizers, the wings and all that stuff. Um, again, I really do like the look of it, the textures, the colors. I think it look, came out really nice and overall looks super cool. Uh, so really do like it. Um, and that's obviously the in-flight version there. Down here we have the landed version. So this is also an option for you guys to build as well. So you can have this landing on your base or whatever you're making, on your carriers or something like that. And uh, yeah, so it's got the landing gear and all that stuff. and set up so you'll have the options there to kind of choose uh, what you guys want to uh, basically have for this. Um, so really nice aircraft, really nice redesign. I think it's going to be a uh, great addition to any roles you guys got going on here. Modern Warfare and all that stuff, a very iconic modern uh, fighter and all that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer number two. 
Now, uh, we're starting on layer 2 because it gives us a better basis for the aircraft to kind of build off of. Layer 1's kind of more adding on to layer 2, so it's going to be a little bit easier for us to go and do it this way. Um, also, if you do plan on building the landed version of the aircraft, the way this tutorial is going to be structured, we're going to build the in-flight version first and then modify it to be landed. Uh, the best way for us to go and do this is to build this a certain distance from the ground. So this layer, layer number 2 here, needs to be built 3 whole space blocks uh, basically from the ground. So you can see here this black wool representing the ground level. We have one, two, and three spaces between uh, this level here and the ground. So make sure that's correct. If it's obviously seen too high, too low, it's not gonna sit properly when we go to add the landing gear on. So very important for that. Um, anyways, for us to go ahead and get started, um, though, we will be doing this tutorial half on, half off. What this means is we're going to be going and doing the right side of the aircraft, and then it'll be up to you guys to go ahead and copy the left side over. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. The aircraft's pretty much completely symmetrical besides, um, as I mentioned earlier, the little bulges uh, right there above the intakes, and I'll explain this when we get to that point. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a stone full block and go in toward the direction we want the front of the aircraft. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair, stone top slab, and an iron trap door like that come off the top slab. So you get something that looks like this for the front nose here. Going back from the stone block, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 stone blocks back. We can go ahead and get a double count here. And it should be 21 blocks back from this one, which gives you a total of 22 stone blocks in this row. On the end here, we're just going to place down a narrow brick top slab and a dark oak wood, uh, dark oak wood trap door coming off that top slab like that. Once that's done, uh, going ahead and going back up to the front here, uh, we're going to go off these two stone blocks. We're going to place down two stone top slabs, and then back from that, we're going to place down one and two stone upside down stairs. After those two stone upside down stairs, we're going to switch back to stone blocks. We're going to place down one, two. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, stone blocks back, actually it's going to be one less, so it's going to be 12. Okay, so we have our 12 blocks here, we're going to go 13, 14, 15, 16, and we're going to stop at 16 stone blocks. So in total here, you have row 16 stone blocks back from that stone stair. Now we get to this point here, we're just going to place down a stone upside down stair like this coming off that stair, and then we want to place the stone top slab, just like that, to wrap off the back, the round, or the, uh, the rear here. With that done, going back up to the front, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished anesthite slab, and we're going to go off this first stone block with a polished anesthite slab like that to the side, and we're going to then go back from it with a black concrete block. From that point there, we can go ahead and place down a row of stone blocks going back, so we're going to go place down one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9 and 10 uh, stone blocks back, yep, 10 stone blocks back, and then we want to go and then place down a row of, actually my bad, it's going to be 11 and 12, so it's going to be 12 stone blocks back, and then we want to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair, followed by a, a second upside down stair directly after it, I believe, yep, so it's going to be a second upside down stair right next to it, like so. And then from that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone uh, top slab right here. And we're going to ed edit this area right here. This uh, stone stair is actually going to be a stone full block. And this right here is going to be a stone upside down stair. So we're just going to make that quick adju adjustment there to the rear there. Um, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here and continue to work our way out to the... All right, guys, working on our next row out to the side here. We're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves a polished anesthite stair. We're going to place down an upside down stair like this, coming off this polished anesthite slab, kind of forward like that. Then going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three uh, stone upside down stairs. And actually, sorry, four stone upside down stairs, followed by a stone upside down corner stair. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five stone full blocks. Then one and two stone upside down stairs, and then a stone top slab like that to the side there. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to the side here. And coming off those uh, last four stone blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, and four stone top slabs like that to the side there. And also on the back here, um, come off that stone top slab, we're going to have an iron trap door here on the end. So basically, looking at this from above, we should have something that looks like this here for the base, uh, or basically the start of our build here, uh, layer number two. And once we have that done, completed what we have on the right side over to the left side, that's going to complete layer two. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, 
layer number one. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer one. For layer one, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom of the uh, fuselage here. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to our third uh, stone block back from this st uh, stone upside down stair and placed on an iron trapdoor on the bottom of it, followed by one, two, and three more iron trapdoors back, so we have a row four here. We're then going to place down two smooth stone slabs like so, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight iron trapdoors back, a stone slab, stone upside down stair, stone full block behind the stair, and then two stone slabs back, just like that. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and go back up here to the front again. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron trap doors like to the side. Come off this polished deanosite slab, iron trap door, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six back, giving you a row of seven here. We're then going to go ahead and take our stone slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three, and four stone slabs back, followed by an iron trap door like that. And then um, on both sides of the stone stair here, we're going to have an iron trap door, followed by a stone slab back, and then a another iron trap door uh, right there next to it. And this right here is how the bottom of the fuselage should look for uh, layer number one. And with that all done, that is going to complete layer number one. And with that, let's move on to layer number three. All right guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go ahead and go to this iron trap door and place down a stone block on top of it, followed by one stone block going forward and a stone top side like that on the tip there. Going back from the stone block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 stone blocks back, followed by a glowstone block and then an orange thing glass block here for the engine. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and go back over to the front here. We're going to place down a andesite wall coming off of this stone block and then going back from the andesite wall we're going to place down two stone upside down stairs so one and two stone upside down stairs followed by a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two one twenty two and twenty three stone blocks back a black concrete block and then a nether brick wall there on the very end for our next row uh we're going to be going ahead and going to our a uh, second stone block here along the side. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off of it, followed by one, two, three, and four, uh, and the side walls back, and then a black concrete block like so. Once that's done, we're going to take our stone blocks and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, seventeen, and eighteen stone blocks back, and then we want to go ahead and then place down two polished neoside top slabs like that on the end there. Uh, with that done, go ahead and go into this section here. We're going to place down a andesite stair that is going to come off of this second andesite wall. So we have our andesite stair like this, and then one back or a stone stair back from it. So it turns this stair into a corner stair, and then you have a regular stone stair like that. And then we want to place down a second stone stair after it, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 stone blocks back, and we're going to be going ahead and continuing on, uh, so we have uh, 12, 13, 14, and then we're going to go ahead and place down two polished andesite upside down stairs like this, and then coming off that last polished andesite upside down stair, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair, and then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone slabs here, and we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three stone top slabs back, and then a polished andesite top slab like that on the end there. Uh, for our next row out to the side here, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the side and we want to go ahead and go to this stone block right here. So this is going to be our third stone block back. We're going to place down a skeleton skull come off the side of it. From this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite. Uh, it was going to be a polished andesite top slab. So polished andesite top slab, stone full block, and then back from this block, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to place down a stone upside down stair. Once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and switch to polished andesite, and we're going to place down one, uh, one, two, three, and four polished andesite top slabs back like so. After that's done, going ahead and going off the stone block, we're going to place down a polished andesite top slab like that, and we then want to go ahead and go back from it with stone stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone upside down stairs, followed by one and two stone top slabs, and then one, two, three, and four polished andesite top slabs, um, just like that so far. And once that's done, go ahead and go off this polished or the stone top slab here. We're going to place down a polished andesite top slab and we want to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, and six stone top slabs 
fall by, or sorry, my bad, it's going to be five stone top slabs back, fall by one, two, and three polished andesite top slabs. Once that's done, go next to the stone top slab here. You're going to place that polished andesite top slab, fall by one, two, three, four, and five stone top slabs back, and then one and two polished andesite top slabs. Again, same thing up in the front here. You're going to place that polished andesite top slab, cut off the stone top slab, fall by one, two, three, four stone top slabs back, and then one and two polished andesite top slabs. After that's done, again a stone top slab come off this or a polished anti top slab come off that stone top slab and then going back from it one, two, three, and four stone top slabs and then a polished anti top slab like that on or sorry, three stone top slabs and the polished anti top slab like that. Again, uh, going out to the side here, polished anti top slab come off the stone block and then one and two stone top slabs back, polished anti block like that. And then at the very end here, we're gonna place down a polished anti top slab come off that stone top slab and one and two. Uh, top so I was about to create that row three there and that right there will do it for your wings and here's what it should look like from up above so far going ahead and moving back to our horizontal stabilizers we're going to go, ahead and go off of this stone top slab we're going to place down a polished anti top slab like so we then want to place down one two and three stone top slabs back and then a polished anti top slab like that go ahead and come off the stone top slab here polished anti top slab stone top slab back and an air polished anti top slab and then come off this stone top slab polished anti top slab and then one back like that. So your uh, horizontal stabilizer should look just like that for this layer. And once that's done, it's going to do it there for the main body of the aircraft. We do have this banner uh, design that I'm going to show you guys how to make real quick uh, that you can put on both sides of these intakes here for uh, you know a little bit of design purposes. Um, but yeah, with that, let's go ahead and move into the banner. All right, guys, so we're going ahead and moving into making these banners. To begin with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a loom, and we're going to go into the loom. We're going to place down a light gray banner in the loom, and also some white dye. Now we're going to do we're going to go ahead and do the diagonal lines here of white dye, so just like this, so you create this nice X. Now the reason why we're doing the lines individually here is it it creates thicker lines as compared to doing the preset one like this. So uh, that's again just kind of the reason why we're doing it. And we're going to we're going to go ahead and make two of these banners here, so two of these X's, and just like that. So you have these two banners here. We're going to go ahead and place our banner, uh, one of the banners back in the loom, and we're going to place our die of light gray die. We're going to go ahead and split the banner in half on the left side like so of our gray die, and then we're going to go ahead and grab the banner. We're going to do the others, uh, same thing with the other banner here, except we're going to go ahead and do it on the right side this time. So we create these two banners with these little arrows pointing in opposite directions. Uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place it down on this second stone stair here um, on the right side with the arrow kind of facing backwards. Um, and then over here on the other side it's going to be the same thing. This banner, obviously the arrow again facing backwards like that. And once you have that done on both sides there, you have those little banners um, on there and all that fun stuff. That's going to complete layer number three of the build. With that, let's go and move into layer number four. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We'll be going ahead and move it into layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to be going ahead and go into the front of the nose here on top of this stone block. We're going to place down a stone slab and going back from it, we're going to place down a stone stair. From that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite block. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five light gray stained glass blocks. After that, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stone blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and take two smooth stone slabs, stack them on top of each other to create a smooth stone block. And then after that, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone blocks, stone stair, stone slab, another brick slab, and dark oak with trap door. Once that's done, for our center line, we're going to go ahead and start working our way out to the sides. On this upside down stair here, on both sides of the stair here, we're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull at a slight angle like so, and then going back from it, we're going to place down a stone stair. From that stone stair, we're going to place down a polished andesite stair, followed by a polished andesite slab, polished andesite stair like this, and then come out the polished andesite stair, we're going to place down a smooth cord stair, so it turns the stair into a corner stair like that, and we have the cord stair, and then a polished andesite block like that afterward. We're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 stone blocks back, followed by 1, 2, and 3 stone stairs, and then 1 and 2 stone slabs back like that to go and finish that off. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here, and going to go ahead and go off this polished and block, we're going to place down a stone slab, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 stone stairs back and then we're going to take our stone slabs and we're going to go one two three four five and six 
stone slabs back, followed by one, two, and three stone blocks, and then one and two polished neoside blocks, followed by two iron trap doors. And once you have that done there, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way up to the sides. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go to the intakes here and place down two iron trap doors on top of these two stone stairs. Now at this point here, uh, it gets a little different. So over here on the left side, we're going to have a polished neoside corner stair, followed by one, two polished andesite stairs back, stone brick stair, and polished andesite stair. So just like that, and that's going to be over here on the left side. Now on the right side, we're going to go ahead and just grab ourselves some stone slabs and some snow. We're going to place down one and two uh, smooth stone slabs, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three snow blocks, and then one and two snow like that. Alright guys, so going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and go from the snow here, and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. Uh, stone slabs back after which we're gonna place down two iron trap doors And then we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton school like that afterward We're going to then place down one two and three iron trap doors back after that like that along the side there Now moving on to the wings here. We're going to go ahead and place down one two three four five six and seven iron trap doors along the row there We then want to go ahead and place down a row of one two three four five And we're gonna go ahead and go to the side here place down one two and three and then one, two, like that. And looking at it from above here, this is what we should have for the top down layer. Make sure to take note on the differences here on the right side with the two stone slabs, the snow, and over here with the stairs like this, like that. Anyways, once that's all done there, that is going to complete layer number four. With that, let's move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down a brick slab on top of this first light gray stained glass block like that. And going back from it, we're gonna place down a row of four of light gray stained glass blocks, followed by a polished andesite block, and then we're gonna place down a diorite wall, like so. After that, we're gonna place down a stone block, followed by a polished andesite stair, and then after the polished andesite stair, we're gonna place down one, two, three, and four stone slabs, three iron trap doors, the end rod, we're then going to place down a stone button on top of this smooth stone slab block right here, and then two gray carpets back like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go back up to our cockpit and work our way out to the sides. Coming off the four light gray stained glass blocks, we're going to place down four light gray stained glass panes, followed by a polished andesite stair, then a stone stair, a stone corner stair like so, and then one and two stone slabs back. After those stone slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors to go ahead and finish that off. Moving on to the uh, the uh, vertical stabilizers here, we're going to go ahead and go to our second stone block here. We're going to place down a stone stair on top of it, followed by a second stone stair back, followed by a third stone stair, and then a polished andesite stair like that to go ahead and finish it off. And that right there is going to complete your uh, verticals for this uh, layer. Anyways, that right there is going to finish layer number five. With that, let's move into layer number six. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down an brick slab on top of this second light gray stained glass block, and then a second narrow brick slab back from it, followed by a dark oak wood slab, and then a iron trap door. And that right there is going to complete your cockpit. Moving back to our vertical stabilizers, we're going to go ahead and come off of this third or this middle stair right here. We're going to go ahead and go up and out with a stone upside down stair followed by a second stair back from it, and then one and two polished andesite stairs afterward, like that to go and finish that off. And that right there is going to complete layer number six, and with that we're going to go and move into our last final layers, which are going to basically be layers uh, seven, eight, and nine, where we're going to go and pretty much uh, put the top of the verts on and basically finish off the in-flight model for the F-35. Alright guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers seven through ten. For these layers, we're going to be going ahead and going to the vertical stabilizers here, and we're going to start off by placing down a stone stair on top of this one like so, followed by one and two stone blocks back, and then a polished andesite block like that on the end there. After that, we're going to go ahead and go up from this, and we're going to place down a stone stair like so, followed by a second stair, and then a polished andesite stair like that. Again, going up from uh, this stone stair, we're going to go up from it, out to the side here, and then we want to go ahead and go one and two polished andesite upside down stairs back, and then again, going to the top here, we're going to place down one and two stone slabs and a polished andesite uh, slab just like that. And over here, we're going to go ahead and pretty much do the same exact thing. So, first stair here, two stone blocks back, polished andesite block, polished andesite stair, one and two uh, stone stairs. Actually, sorry, I had them facing the wrong way. So, we want them out to the side there like that. And then going up from this, stone upside down stair, second stair back, 
stone stair going forward, and then top here two stone slabs and a polished downside slab. And right there is going to be your vertical stabilizers. Now I will be linking a tutorial now now down in the description that will show you guys how to make these lettered banners. So if you do want to, you know, label this uh, aircraft for a certain base or uh, whatever, uh, you have that ability to do so. Um, so again, it's a uh, probably two letters is going to be the best here for this uh, aircraft. You're going to go and place down two banners right here in this area right here, and it'll be just like that on both these vertical stabilizers. Um, so go ahead and throw those on. Uh, again, there'll be tutorials down linked in the description. I'll show you guys how to make those banners so you can make whatever banners you want, label whatever you want. Uh, but once you have that done, that is going to do it for the in-flight model of the F-35A. And with that, we're going to go ahead and now move into the lander version. So if you do want to build a lander version, I'll be showing you guys how to uh, modify this to make it landed. And uh, with that, that's it for layer 7 for 10 and land or in the in-flight version. Let's move on to the landed version. Alrighty guys, so starting off with landing gear, we're we'll going ahead and starting off with the front one. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom here, we're going to go and delete this iron trap door, and we're going to go ahead and then delete the block above it, as well as these three blocks going, or these two blocks going forward. Now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the side here of these stairs, and we're going to place these slabs with upside down stairs, like so. And then drop it down from the slabs, or the stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down three of these polished and like top slabs just like that for the front here, or basically for the doors that open up for the gear to come down. Um, then up in here, we're gonna go ahead and place down one and two direct walls, and we then wanna go ahead and grab ourselves some iron trap doors, and we'll place down one and two iron trap doors in that space like so. On the bottom here of this, um, in, or this uh, direct wall, we're gonna place down a quartz upside down stair, followed by a block of coal underneath it, which uh, let me go ahead and actually grab a block of coal here, that's black wool, wherever the coal, there we is, there it is right there. A uh, block of coal here on the bottom, and we're going to go and then place down a stone bun over here on the left side, an item frame, and a white stained glass paint in the item frame. Uh, we then want to go and grab ourselves our levers again, and on the back here of this block, we're going to place down a lever and one on top of the, or one on the back of the stair as well, and have it flick down to connect up with this one. We then want to place down an iron frame on the side here and a white stained glass paint in the iron frame like that for the wheel here. Once that's done there, we're going to be going ahead and then taking our quartz slab. We're going to place down a quartz uh, slab right here, come out this direct wall, so we're going to delete this iron trap door. And then we're going to also going to place down a quartz top slab in this spot right there. And once you have that done, that is going to complete your front landing gear leg. Uh, pretty straightforward design there, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and move into our rear ones. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our rear landing gear. We're going to go ahead and go to this section right in here. Now we have this section where we have this top slab and then we have the two stairs that follow after. We're going to go ahead and delete these two stairs and also this top slab and full block right here in this space like that. So from this point here, we're going to go ahead and uh, modify this area right here. We're going to go ahead and place down two stone top slabs, uh, or sorry, two quartz top slabs right there. And then for this section, uh, we're going to go and just leave a stone full block. Now coming down from the stone full block, we're going to place down a diorite wall, followed by a second one down, and then from this we're going to place down a upside down diorite stair coming off the bottom of the wall like that. Then going up from this uh, wall, we're going to go up with a stair or quartz stair like this, and then a second quartz stair going up at an angle, so you get something that looks just like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and grab ourselves some polished andesite stairs, which right here and also some light gray banners and we're going to go, ahead and go to the side here and come off this stair and block we're going to place down two upside down stairs and then one more going forward just like that so upside down stairs across like that and then we want to place down two light gray banners on the two polished down side stairs toward the back once that's finished there we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our uh, nether brick and we're going to place down a nether brick stair like so stair on top and then two stairs like that coming off those to make this wheel here. And then uh, we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves a skeleton skull. And to finish it off, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off of this quartz upside down stair like that. And once that's all finished there, that's pretty much that for the landing gear. Uh, we also have the opportunity of adding some banners on, add a little bit extra detail. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. And that will pretty much finalize our design. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into making the banners. If you've done a few of my recent tutorials uh, aircraft-wise, you probably are familiar with these uh, banner designs. But real simple, we're just going to go ahead and go into a loom. And we're going to go and place down a black banner in the loom and then a white tie piece right there. Now for this, we're going to go and select the line over here on the left side of this banner. We're going to go and grab that banner. And we're going to go and then swap it out for another empty black banner. And we're going to go do the right 
uh, line here of white, um, basically that white line. Now we're going to then switch our die out for black die, and we're going to go ahead and do a line across the top, and line across the bottom here of black die, and same thing here for this one, line across the top, and line across the bottom, like so. And we get these two banners that look just like this, and we put them on the wheels here, they kind of create a little bit more of a nicer wheel effect. And we're going to put one on this side where we can fit it. And over here, you would have your other uh, rear landing gear piece. So um, you'll be adding those onto that as well. Anyways, that right there is going to complete the tutorial. All you need to do now is take this landing gear piece and flip it over the other side. And you have your landed version of the aircraft complete. Uh, anyways, that's going to complete this uh tutorial for the F-35A. Hope you guys all enjoyed the build and are able to put good use. Again, if you guys do end up using this design, do I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from the side of, on the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear in any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy it. Have fun with it and all that fun stuff. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, to, don't forget to like comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.